run down. We have two startups that are presenting every single morning. They get six minutes to educate you on their product or service they provide, as well as following it up with a 20-minute Q&A with you guys, the audience, as far as giving suggestions of ideas they may have not thought of or getting more clarification around their business plans or the availability for them to scale. It's all in your hands for the questions. So uh, a couple things just to let you guys know. Cowell Coffee, who so generously donates their coffee every single week to us, just have a new app release that if you download it, you get $3 off your first purchase. So, always a fan of free coffee. Right. So, so. We have a great lineup today for you guys. And first up, we have Chris with Bamboo Salon. So, please give him a round. Good morning, everyone. All right. Uh, thank you, first and most, uh, for being here today. That's the last one. <laughs> Preview. Again, uh, thank you for being here. I am just elated to be speaking uh, in front of One Million Cups and very honored to get to share with you the story of Bamboo the Eco Salon. I'm Chris Kiss. I'm Josh the Block. Who's down here, Bamboo? Um, Joshua and I started this uh, two years ago, but I'll tell you that this started in my life um, as a very young child. I grew up in the hills of Kentucky. Uh, we called uh, our life living off of the land, um, and that sort of carried on in my family uh, for over 15 years until they were faced, and we battled a lot of cancers. Knowing that we're from the hills of Kentucky, we do fight many things dealing with sustainability. So I uh, had a love and a passion for sustainability from the very get-go. And uh, what I'm here today is to share with you that I want you to really remember three words. Um, I want you to think, imagine, believe that there is a salon in your community that's going to do just that, focus on the sustainability of our environment and our, our, our health. And what is Bamboo's vision? It's just clearly to offer executed, highly executed hair salon services while making a profound impact on the environment. Our first year, we took out over 200 recycling trips. Our second year, we actually did over 300. What we focus on are such things as products with zero impact. And what's zero impact? Well, it's just that. It's a product that starts off with solar, water, or wind energy. I then place it on your beautiful head. You then rinse it off, or I rinse it off, and it goes into our waterways. And at no point in time is it impacting you in a negative way. It's all very positive from every aspect of it, parabens and everything else. Something that I want you to walk away from today is I want you to walk away from the difference between eco and I'll let you read that. <laughs> and organic. Organic. A self-regulated industry that refers to products to attempt to avoid the harmful chemicals, chemicals, the lack of governing oversight. Bamboo chooses companies and products that have their own governing oversights. We don't need a government to govern what we do. Um, we focus on not harming the earth all the way down to the bees. We have a product called Royal Jelly, and we hydrolyze that in the lab. I want you to think of a world less toxic. I want you to imagine respecting truly the balance of both the environment and the person. And more than all, I really, really do want you to believe that creating a highly unique salon experience can happen and do all that. We use a, pro a uh, system, oh, really fast, or target as anyone who desires to do this, anyone who wants to treat their body and their environment. And through that experience, what we've done is we've introduced and something that's very good in Josh's heart is vital remediation and vital extraction. I'm actually scrubbing the oxygen that's in your salon. I'm actually taking out ammonia, benzene, formaldehyde. We release ammonia. Now we all breathe NH4, but we breathe it at a certain concentration, and I release it, which is better than an ammonia that's all going down your waterways. 
but then I also capture it through botanicals. So it's never going to your lungs, and I'm also stopping it from going into your waterways. Because our focus is to reduce the waste, but also reduce the harmful toxins that go into our waterways and have to be bleached out, and, and we have to fluorinate, and we have to do all that we're doing, and we're doing a great job of it, and we're very thankful for those people, but I want to do something that's going to help in an industry that's really impacting that. We demonstrated a commitment of last year of only six bags of trash. We do have three people in the salon averaging a little over $2,000 a week. So we felt very happy about that and we know we can do that through products coming in. And recyclable packaging. Everything that comes into my salon, um, we even worked with Largo Recycles and as we've seen on our recycling units, if you're out there, and I, please, please go out there, we're now able to recycle our almond breeze cartons, our Kawa coffee cups. And we're really excited to be able to take those out of your hand at the salon and say that we were a part of that happening. Our scalability is endless. We want to reach out to companies all over and show programs that are actually going to introduce the plant filtration, that actually are going to reduce the recycling that are the trash that they uh, are producing through recycling. We want to work with like-minded companies in order to empower the relationship with their others. Our goals are simply this. Today I am welcoming any insight from the business community at large as we refine our business plan for investor inquiries. I want to identify like-minded individuals such as Eckert College who has a sustainability program. These are our partnerships that we're working with, and I was just honored recently, Josh and I were, to be a part of Tampa Bay Watch, and we've now become the official salon for them. Um, so, I want to wrap it up. I want to say, again, thank you so much for being here, and uh, I hope you have questions for me. <laughs> and if so, please and thank you. <laughs> Yes, without a doubt. My first goal in the business plan, our first goal in the business plan right now is to currently get three to four hairdressers working with us. Our second goal is by next year to move into a nine. I'll take a 20 chair salon, but I'll start with nine. Um, we will. <laughs> we'll gladly start with six. Uh, we started with three right now. Um, so. We do have everything in line as far as wanting to continue to grow, but more than anything, the programs that we're creating as a platform for the last two years can go into not only a salon, um, but like for instance, I want to put a tank reservoir in the back of the salon and gather all the water that comes out of the salon and put a mustard tree plant in it through hydroponics and take on all the toxins that we take out of the landfill by surrounding it with mustard. And then when we release that water, so this can go into every salon, and then on top of that I can also put my plant filtration, well, what we learned from NASA studies, our plant filtration into such large companies as we work closely with Tampa Bay Watch. We could put all these into there and make their environment better as well. So it works both in a salon as well as in a larger company. I'm just wondering, uh, do you come up with a formula for your products? Else, you know, we, uh, that's another big, when we talk about scalability, I have a huge uh, opportunity there as well as to start a facility that truly works with only sustainable products. Um, what we do is take our education of over, over 25 years and put our minds and uh, we, we love the chemistry of color and product and we, we drive you insane with talking about sweet almond protein and then not only can you put spray it in your hair but you also use it as a beach spray and protect your skin. Uh, so, I, you know, it's those things that we're doing. So we have that opportunity to maybe house those even in our <coughs> distributions um, that really focus on sustainable beauty. So we have another scalability issue that our opportunity. That... You clearly have tremendous expertise. Is your education 25 years of self-education or are you also a scientist or do you partner with scientists? Um, 
Whoa, that's a that's a loaded question. Sorry, <laughs> sorry country, not being called company, being called your own. But um, I number one studied nursing. Um, but before I even studied nursing, I actually um, just worked in sciences. Um, I have a love for chemistry. I don't have a finished degree, but it wouldn't take long to get my basic degree in that. Um, I just am an artist and not a student. And uh, so I took all that. And then I also growing up on the farm and understanding truly what you put in the earth is really coming back to your body. And so I believe when I teach my students out there throughout North America that I believe you take everything that you've learned and compile it together. So I'm not never, you know, no one's never self-made or no one's ever really self-educated, but I've been touched by some amazing people throughout, but I've also had some great education in the hair world and I've gotten to work with our chemists and just pr helped produce um, four things that we needed here in America that they don't need in Italy. And that's where my product, my main product is from. So we, I, I do have a great vast want and passion and I believe that it will all be absorbed by my sponge if anybody wants to teach me. <laughs> yes, sir. What are you doing about electric power consumption or generation? That is a great question. Um, one of my silent backers right now that we're building our business plan for that's offered is actually from Phillips, and he's going to help me focus. Um, I, as you go, and we'll go back to my education. I did a study for nine months on a on producing a salon in Naples. Um, we did spend over. Um, the salon would easily fit in this room, and we easily spent over three thousand dollars just on lighting alone. Um, what I would like to do is work with Eckerd and also take that non-potable water that we're going to collect in my reservoir. And what doesn't get clean will go in one more reservoir, and that will actually produce the energy that I need to actually run my salon along with something else. So it's all in my, it's all in my crazy artist mind, but it's all laid out. And if I have people like you who are interested in doing that, that's that's what we're here for today. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Can you give me a next weekend? Can you give me something? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Darling. Um, knowing how much I love the botanicals, knowing what I've learned throughout my years, knowing what I have with a vast pit of knowledge over here with Chris, because he's also crazy about the chemicals, I would more than be honored to work with somebody who could do that. I've went into companies, and there are companies out there that will just, I'll tell them what I want and they'll put it in it, but I'd really rather work with a very more focused, sustainable person who has that same drive, not just a company doing it as a mass producer. But if I could choose American companies and do so, yes, I would. And they're out there, and we're looking into them um, to always make sure that we're continuing to focus. But I have to choose that sustainable product. But for now, you don't have any of your own products. Not yet. In my head. <laughs> well, and on my counter, we have some. We have um, a pine tar and beeswax. I have eczema, um, and I'm fighting that with the Cleopatra ways of back in the Egyptian era of using pine tar and beeswax. So I'd like to take products and put a label on them. So I have a few that I'm like. Where's your store? Um, it's on 11th Avenue and 4th Street. I have actually, um, uh, Fran will have coupons for you as well as our story and give you a full layout of what, what we've done. Is there a way to kind of package the the systems and, and things that you put in place that you could sell to other salons throughout the country as kind of a branded bamboo system to make your salon? Yes, I've already caught we, we've already copyrighted most everything or trademarked most everything as far as the names and those kinds of things. We could then take and figure out working with uh, licensure people and, uh, and, and, and different aspects of that nature of maybe really saying this is my concept, let's put a patent on it. Uh, because it's, it's not out there. 
I've been to salons who say they're organic, and I'm, I'm not I'm not knocking them. I'm thanking them for sticking to their guns and, and going with that word. But we want people to know that we're eco-sustainable. I want people to know that I want to put solar panels on. I want to trap my water. I want to use a mustard seed plant. I want to put sands of air into every home with this concept and take out the benzene. I want to take from out out from such uh, uh, um, um, the people that work with the dead. I'm having a brain fart right now, but you, can, you know I'm so worried about those people. I want my plants surrounding their their tables so they're not breathing in that from out So yeah, very compassionate in that aspect. I guess. Do you do workshops? Oh, sorry. Go. Um, I do teach throughout. For, for hairdressers, so that they can come to you and learn about this and get the products. I'm already out educating. I'm on the artistic team for Davenant North America. Um, I'm getting this one out of his shell, and I want to make him an educator too. Um, and um, you know, we're see how quiet it is. It is fun. <laughs> He's pretty. It's okay. <laughs> I'm ugly, so I got to talk. Um, so you know, uh, we, we do because I'm already an educator. And so I, I'm, I'm trying to always grow it, but I go out and educate for Davines, and so I have to not let it be about me. Um, but I would love for it to be about me, and I would love to offer classes. So yeah, that's exactly. I was just wondering uh, how much would it cost to install the whole system that we have in for one summer? That's according to how far they want to go. Uh, we could have it as small as just introducing the plants. Um, I work with a company out of Canada, Green Salon Systems, um, and already talked with the largest distributor in Chicago, and that distributor just brought them to Chicago, and then another distributor just brought them to North Carolina. I would look for somebody that could work with me that would grab that Green Salon Services system and bring it to Florida, because then we could go out and reach out to every salon and offer them a fully recycling program for free. And then we, as a company, would then make money off of recycling those products. Then number two, I would be able to take it the next step further and work with an environmentalist and actually put the tank in the back of every of salons that really wanted to commit to that. We could also have a lighting program. Again, what's great about this is the scalability and the focus that everybody in the United States is going for. Number one, I'm right there in the niche. And I could have six companies all working together and making money off of each separate one of them. I can make somebody a millionaire. No, not me, I'm not worried about the money. Passion. Yes, sir. How did you choose the name and why? <laughs> I don't want to tell this. <laughs> The 
cutting edge in our color right now is using metasilicate, which is quartz powder, which is soluble glass, which is a higher refraction rate than a diamond. You want that on your hair the moment I said diamond? <laughs> it uses dates and carotenoids in the color. We then took metasilicate and put it with it, and it has an alkalizing agent. We then created vegetal Vaseline. I, I can say we because they, they trained me to say we. So I'm not taking that we too far. But you know, they take that and they've taken carnival wax and castor oil, two more natural products. And then we've lined it with vitamin C. In our color that does use ammonia, it's a gaseous ammonia. So again, to reiterate that, I know I'm releasing it into your oxygen environment, but I'm taking peace lilies and I'm scrubbing those oxygen molecules. And I'm taking sense of air and I'm taking out that acetone and that ammonia. And then I'm still putting on a product that doesn't put an ammonia and salt in your water. So I'm impacting your health, your environment, and our overall community. Yes, How is the cost I think I'm. I think I've compared throughout, and for our expertise, and you compare us to the other salons that also have that expertise. I don't try to make more money. I'm not organic. Remember, I'm, I'm eco. It's so not going from non-organic cranberry juice to organic cranberry juice, where it's three <laughs> and ten. Right? We've all seen that in the market. We are able to find products again that are sustainable, but still provide you beauty through sustainability. So I'm not going to charge you an arm and a leg. My cuts are $35 to $50. And $50 you have to have hair done here. So I'm fairly reasonable. That's a start. My color starts at $70. And that's a gloss and a blowout. So it gives you a small range. I top out at our flamboyage mesh, which is a strip that actually is recyclable on both ends. Um, and it has a sugar adhesive. And it's the newest technology and highlighting all of our recycling, but I also only charge $175 for that. But decently decently in the price range. She's so excited, but I haven't seen this guy in a long time back there. How are you, David? Yeah, good. Um, so how do you find the products that you use? Are you going to the trade shows? Are you doing uh, training through some other salons? You mentioned. Uh, uh, well, I mentioned that I'm an educator. I work with a distributorship here locally that I go and get training throughout. I was trained by the four time British Hairdresser of the Year, not to drop names, but every now and then you come to. <laughs> when you work with somebody like Angelo Seminara. But I got to work with them. But I do go out with, you know, to trade shows. There is that availability for uh, us to take out an, a, a new business partner, an investor, and show them what's available. And then work on, I can show them how to set up a distributorship. Um, so I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm an artist, and Fran will truly, to actually it's because of her that I'm even gonna probably say this to you. I'm an artist, but I've got a great business mind because I've worked for companies and you know, I was with Tri, I was with Young before they were Young. I was with them when they were Tricon and I was the top person in the Northwest for them. So I've had great business since I understand a P&L. But I'm an artist, so I have a lot of crazy ideas. I guess I was asking about where you get the products because I, I imagine that there's a lot of innovation in this in this space, right? There because is organic um, hair care is huge at the moment, so there's probably lots of new things coming out. How do you keep abreast of that stuff? That's because every day when a rep comes in and they tell me something about that about a product, we go to Kuhn classes. Um, I don't just support Davines. Um, I compare them though, because if I go to someone. And for instance, they tell me that they're using an LP3 100 polymer. Anybody know what an LP3 100 polymer is? <laughs> Don't feel bad, this country boy didn't either. Uh, but L3P300 is what we do use to keep our cotton. So because this company was saying that they were all natural, they then told me that they went into their and made a 100 to put into our hair. Because even though it may be in our clothing, when I open up your cuticle, we know our hair still holds every, can show everything we've done in our lives if it's long enough. 
I don't want to put something that just because it does really well on top. How can we in this room and as a community help you guys grow your business and scale and bring this idea to the world? Well, you can tell these three words over and over again. Um, you can help me get closer to the um, partnerships that I've already developed. Um, we want to work with Eckert in getting this non-potable water idea of the